Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. Hope you are doing well. Well, today's video is going to be another video on creating beads and charms for your junk journals, journals, jewellery making, anything really. These are so versatile. Now these are a gizmo coiled bead, as you can see. And if I just show you these ones, as you can see, they are literally just a coil and they're gizmoed. And I'm going to show you how you can do this with the tool, but you can also do it without a tool. And I shall explain that later on. And I've also just done a few other beads just as embellishments. So if you want to find out how to do this, then just keep on watching. For this, you are going to, or you can use a gizmo coiling tool, which is this particular tool here. Um, they are available on websites such as Amazon, eBay and other crafting sites. I'll leave a couple of links below if I remember. I probably will remember. Um, just if you wanted to have a look and um, these are the cranks that you use to do the coiling so as you can see they're just like a, a basic cylinder shape if you have a knitting needle or a pokey tool or something like that so let's say you've got a pokey tool you could make these with the pokey tool as well which I might actually show you you know um, after doing this I, so you don't necessarily have to get one of these but it makes it a lot easier I think I'll say that, yeah, makes it a lot easier. Pop that back in there for now. So, what we're going to do is we are going to take some gold coloured silver plated wire, whatever wire you have. This is a 0.4. I will have a look and see what the gauge for 0.4 is, and I shall just put, pop it on the screen here. And I'm just going to bring you in a little bit closer so then you can actually see what I'm doing. I've also got um, some round nose pliers and some snips as well. Okay, so I've got my wire and I'm going to leave it on the reel. What I'm going to do is I usually leave a little tail. So as you can see here, I've just got, I don't know, we'll say a centimetre, if that. And all I'm going to do is wrap the wire around a couple of times, the rod. So there you go, we've got the rod just like so. Then we're going to bring in our tool this through the hole and I'm just going to bring my reel over here. The wire is at the back of the tool as you can see we're going all the way back and then we've got the wire coming out the back just here. Then bring that down and then all I'm going to do is start cranking so I'll just get into a more comfortable position there we go. and you're just literally going to crank I'll just do this one halfway so we can make a smaller bead as well because I have already got one and as you can see you're just gonna crank that this is where having the tool will make this easier if you don't have the tool then I shall show you what you'll probably have to do if you want to create some of these beads but I would definitely recommend if you want to make dangles and things like that for your junk journals etc I would definitely invest in this it's not a I don't think it's an expensive tool I think it's probably between I've seen them from five pounds up to 15 so just a, a good little thing to have so let's take that out because we've only gone halfway and then with my snips I'm going to just pop in and snip there the wire then unwind and we should take that out and get rid of the waste so now we're left with I've got a longer one and a shorter one here so we'll, I'll show you what to do with the longer one I'll just tidy that up I'll just move that to the side so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring back some more wire and feed that through the centre 
of said coil. I'm going to get our crank again. Now you can use the tool for this or not, but obviously because mine's not um, bolted to the table, it's a little bit more difficult. So um, hopefully you can do this. I'll get it though. Pop your crank back in. Same again, all your wires are at the back. So I'm going to go around one, two, three, four, five times. And then with this, I'm just going to take this off now because it's a lot easier for me while it's not on the, on the table. But as you can see, I've now taken the coil, this piece here, and I've pushed that right up to the top. So I've butted that right up to the top of the crank. And then I'm just going to use that to coil. Do a nice, always keeping my index finger and thumb at the end of here. And then we just wrap that around there. So we're now coiling the coil. You can keep on coiling and coiling and coiling until you get quite a messy bead. So it's a good way, you know, if you want to, you can experiment. And then I'm just literally going to do one, two, three, four, five. Push that all together and there we have our bead. So I just come in and cut down there. And then cut down there. Now I'm going to see if I can do this on a pokey tool. I've not tried it before, so we shall see. But it should be the same kind of principle. So we'll grab a shorter coil. And I'm just going to leave a bit more of a longer tail. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Obviously, this is a little bit thicker than this. And then offer up your coil and then there you go a knitting needle you've got varying sizes of knitting needles so you could do that as well and then one two three four five so you don't actually have to buy that you can it just takes a little bit longer that's all and then we will chop that off and we've got a nice little bead there so there's our beads. I'm going to take you back out and then we can start decorating. So I have a plethora, just get rid of these as well. I have a plethora of beads and things like that to use. So what are we going to do? Let's go with the smaller one first. Let's get some findings out and have a play about with that. So you can use head pins, eye pins, you could even use wire if you've got it and then you can create your own. But let's go with that. I'm going to use a smaller one first and we're going to go with, let's have a look, go with these little beauties in here. So I'm going to grab some of these. On there. Let's grab. All right, so we're going to go for a, a little gold ball. We'll put this bronze ball on. I might put one of these on. Like so there we go, and then we can put this one on. And repeat the process but in reverse order so you're going to put one of these spaces on that bead and then a ball okay Let's straighten up that pin and then we're going to come in with our round nose pliers which just i like to sort of leave about a centimeter so i'm just going to take the tiniest bit off of that so then I like to push down as much as I can on all the beads then you're going to go in make sure your 
wire is flush. And as you can see, my wrist and hand are facing upwards. So you want to make sure that that's nice and flush. Use your finger just to pull the beads towards you. And then you're going to rotate your wrist around. So then your loop comes all the way around to here. I'll just bring you in. Okay, so we've got a loop that's already made on one end and we've got our loop that's made on this end. But as you can see, they look completely different. So in order to rectify that, you're going to go back in with your round nose pliers at the base of this circle, so just here. All you're going to do, so you've, you've got it, so you're going in at, at the base, just there. And all you're going to do is pull that back up. And then as you can see, your loops look uniform, which is what you want. So now that we've got that, sometimes you might want to add a little flourish. So where is it? Can you see here, these look slightly different and that is because I've actually gone round with a little bit of wire just around in between the edges. So we're going to do that and I like to do it once it's on here. What have I done my, There it is. You could do it in contrasting colours. Do I, oh actually I do have a copper coloured wire just there. Let's just get this out. Like so. Out. Uh, what, I don't actually know what gauge this is. I think this is a 6.6. This is a nice copper wire. And you want to, oops, you want to have a look at where your coil starts. So you want your filling to go into there. So again, leave a little tail. I'm just going to wrap that around once and then very gently you're going to start wrapping around the coils that you've created. You don't want to pull too hard because it'll disappear in between the two coils. And then as you can see you're just creating a cool little effect. Hopefully I'm staying in shot. So, bring that round to there, and then just go one and two, and we'll cut that, and then I can tidy that up in a second. And as you can see there, it just adds a little bit more interest to your bead. Okay, so that's one option, and we could then, because we've now got a two apertures on either side to pop a bead, uh, I think I might put that one on. Looks a little bit better. You can either just link them or you can link them with a jump ring. But because we've got this, you should really use your pliers for this. But my round nose pliers are here and I'm just going to pop that on. And there you have it yourself a cool little dangle and there we have a few beads just with something a little bit different you know if you wanted to do a boho style journal I think these would be cool on there as well because they're and they would go very well with the boho beads that I did the other day so you know, I mean, you could even just dangle some of these. I might actually put some of these on here, but you could use these inside them. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. If you make some, please let me know. If you um, use different size knitting needles, as I say, you're going to get a completely different size bead. I have got one where I use the larger... Where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. This is using this size so I did this one and this is using this size crank so as you can see you can get a whole plethora of different size beads so thank you so much for watching 
have a great day and I will see you on the next one. Bye!